again. Um, okay, there was so much to put into one, and I was all over the place. And I breathed into the microphone an awful lot, which I hate. But I have to have the microphone right next to my mouth, or it doesn't, it, it doesn't, it's not a very good microphone, apparently. But it's good enough to pick up my breath, and I hate that. Um, I wasn't going to post it, but I didn't want to remake it because my mind was all over the place. Uh, I was going to talk about living in a shelter. Uh, the people that work there, you know, they actually treated us pretty nice. Unless you're like, you know, like a bitch, you know, they're going to deal with you. I mean, they're not, they're not going to kick you out at first. But, I mean, I was never a bitch. Everybody loved me, so, uh, and, um, God. But, uh, man, this one woman that was my bunkmate, as I talked about earlier, she, um, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> she, she was a black lady, and it's nothing against black people, but, she wore wigs all the time, and she would ask me to go up to her, up to her, um, to her locker and get her wigs for her. Now, because I'm nice, I did it once, but I was like, pure, pure L and shit. Uh, but, uh, I felt bad for her because her kid was there and she was bald and so I got it for her, but I didn't do it again. Um... Everybody said the food was awful, but you know what? It was it was good food for being homeless and for it being free. Um, the facility here in Topeka, Kansas, I have to say that it's awesome. Only if you're a girl or you're a man by yourself with kids. But if you're a man and you go to that shelter, terrible. Like, we had... Our, we didn't have our own bathrooms, but like each room, like there, there'd be two rooms combined and that's your bathroom. Uh, and you get your own shower in there, you know, it's just a bathroom and a shower together. The men, it's like jail. They just have a spick, spigot and they all have to shower right there in front of everybody and they said there was puke in the drains all the time and it was awful for the men and, and they weren't allowed to stay at the mission during the day like the women could but um yeah if you're a woman it's definitely an okay place to be I mean you get stir crazy uh, everybody takes the bus I learned to take the bus which I'm going to start using again soon since my tires are slashed um There was one girl there. Ooh, she was hot, but and she was awesome. She uh, the she was a worker who didn't live there, and she was awesome. She she uh, one time I thought that my laundry time was two hours before because last time I was at nine thirty, so uh, but I was at eleven thirty and I had my clothes in the washer and she's like, whoever used this washer, come down and get your clothes. They're soaking wet. And I was like, oh. <laughs> but she didn't write me up. Uh, I could have lost laundry pri privileges for two weeks, but she didn't write me up. And I was like, I'm sorry. I thought it was, you know, she was cool about it. Um, doing laundry, I mean, you had to line up to sign up for laundry. And you hardly ever got a spot. And it was right... It was close to when you ate, so you had to um, eat and run over there as fast as you could, or not eat and sign up. Um, there's one woman who I was in residency with who used to pole dance in front of me. She let me know that she thought I was hot 
and she wanted me really bad and I was like uh right now I'm not into girls cause they're kinda crazy and um I have a boyfriend and I love him and just chill out on that she's like okay okay and then she'd write me and I stop it I had no interest in her whatsoever she was just this skinny black girl that was crazy she had borderline so if you have borderline personality disorder I will not date you sorry but I'm done with that uh no offense to anybody who's borderline I will be friends with a borderline that's fine and I will understand them and and I'm, I'm an expert at it. Um, but I will not date you. And that's like on the application. <laughs> if you have borderline, go away. Uh, anyway, I got Charlie back. And if it wasn't for them, I would have lost Charlie. And a big piece of me would have died. Because he's my main man, you know? And he doesn't, he's adjusted to not having Sasha and Pedro around, but he gets depressed and he sleeps all day and I've been um, playing with him, teaching him how to play with me instead of Pedro and that's been working out. So he, he doesn't, and we walk and so he's not as depressed. Sometimes we walk every day, sometimes I'm too sore to go back out, uh, I, but I am working on it, and I'm working on my diet, and I, I'm so poor I don't have food, so I don't really eat, uh, I'm getting ready to make some rice <laughs> in a minute, and I, and I really don't have any butter, so it's gonna suck, but I do have sliced cheese that is like Swiss, mmm, 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 mmm. So, I'm not depressed, but I need human contact. I need, oh, sorry, that probably was loud. I need people around me. I need to heal, and I need to get over this stupid eight-year-long relationship. I mean, it wasn't stupid. I mean, we've been through some shit, Sasha and I. Um, we've been through a lot, and it's hard to move on from that, especially if you're the one that got dumped. I wanted to leave millions of times, but I just didn't have the guts to do it. Uh, she suspected that I was going to get disability and go get my own place and leave her, and that was her fear, and that's what I was planning, actually. Uh, just like... She never had any feelings for Jerry, but obviously she did. Uh, since she broke up with me and two days later, she's with him. Stupid bitch. I'm sorry. 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 Um, I don't miss her in the relationship, but I miss having a best friend that's around. I miss somebody who knows me. I miss... The human contact and the friendship. I mean, we—that's what we were. I mean, we were really good friends more than lovers half the time, um, because Sasha's dis her disability was just—you know—it would take my trust away and would kill me a little bit. And um, I don't want to be a zombie who depends on somebody's rela uh, somebody else's emotions. I want to be free of somebody's emotions. Let them have their emotions. And I don't know where I was going with that. But that's all for now. Uh, I'll post tomorrow. Have a good night.